Welcome to Made Simple. Today we're going to be covering Boolean functions. So we're going to be going over the not and or, or function. But before we begin, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. I really would appreciate that. All right. So I think the best way to kind of show how to use these functions, the Boolean functions, the and or not, for this example, let's just say that we're a bank and a bunch of people have come to us um asking for loans so we have their credit we've pulled their credit scores we know the loan amount that they desire we know their payment divided by income per so this percentage um, we know the down payment they're willing to offer and then we know if they have a savings account that is greater than three thousand dollars or not this is our data we want to know um, if they are approved for this loan and we need to know three things. So for us to give them the loan, they need to reach a certain payment percentage, a certain Dow payment according to that, according to their desired loan, and their credit score needs to meet the minimum requirements in order to be approved. And then we want to know if they get a discount, and we'll go over how they can get that discount. All right, so payment percentage, which is this, the payment divided by income, so let's say that our bank will only accept 42% or lower, right? Because they don't want your payment to be too much as of a percentage of your income. So what we're going to do is just do a simple formula. We're going to do the, the, this percentage. If that is um, less than 42%, uh, we'll do less... Yeah, so if it's less than 42%, what it's going to say is true. And if it's greater than 42%, it'll say false. All right. All right. So now for their down payment, we're going to want to do a similar formula, except we're going to want to take the down payment, divide by the desired loan amount. And we're going to say if that is uh, greater than, let's say, 15% for this particular, in this particular instance. All right. So it'll say true if it meets the requirement and false if it doesn't. All right, so for credit score, we're going to start using a Boolean function. We're going to use the not function, so a logical test. So let's take our credit score and say if that is less than um, 600. So what this is going to do is any, th any credit score above 600, it will say true. And any credit score below 600, it will say false. All right, and we'll go ahead and do that. And so now we're gonna use our AND function. And basically for our logical test, we're just gonna to wanna to select all three of these because in order to be approved, you need to have true in each of these columns. So we'll go ahead and go there. And it looks like very few people were actually accepted for this loan. All right, so now we're gonna use our OR function to figure out the discount. And we'll say that you receive the discount, so it'll say true if you receive the discount, false if you don't. You receive the discount if you have a savings account that has um, a balance greater than $3,000 or if your credit score is above 800. That will be our, that will be our test. So, or let's say um, if that equals um, and we'll say yes, or if that equal is greater than or equal to 800. All right, and we'll go ahead and hit enter. And then we can see, based off that logical test, whether or not they received a discount. And we'll just say this is like a discounted rate for their loan. All right, so I think that's a... Hopefully you follow along in this example. It was kind of the simplest thing I could think of. Make sure you subscribe, smash that like button. But this is just a quick overview of how to use not, and, and or functions within Excel, which could be pretty helpful. Because then after this, after you know this, you can kind of do other equations to figure out, oh, how many total people were approved from a loan and kind of do further data analysis that way. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed this video and hopefully it was uh, informative. If you have any questions, leave a comment. 
Um, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. All right, thanks. Have a great day.